So I got a couple buddies who make uh, custom graphics for their planes with a Cameo Silhouette, silhouette Vinyl Cutter. And, um, uh, and that's great. And here's another RC use for it. Um, I've uh, made up custom head gaskets for engines and uh, exhaust gaskets. Uh, and this is a little project I've been working on. It's a, a little carb extension for a special engine and uh, I needed a gasket for it and uh, the gasket's actually to meet with this side here and I'm just going to uh, show you uh, how simple it can be. Um, I bought this gasket stock from a local shop. Um, the uh, part was CNC machined, so I just took one of the uh, views of the machine and made a DXS of it, a DXF file of it, imported it into the uh, Silhouette Studio, and I've laid out four here, and uh, I've got the uh, sheet ready to go here, and um, I'm going to uh, run another four gaskets here. So we'll head over here to print and say cut and uh, away she goes it took a little while to get the settings but uh, Silhouette has a, uh, a material they call chipboard and uh, I played with a few of the presets and the chipboard setting for this 15,000 thick uh, engine gasset stock that I've got here uh, works almost perfectly as you'll see when I uh, finish up here. settings on this stuff are uh, the blade set at uh, 5, the uh, speed is uh, 1, and the uh, thickness setting on the silhouette is 33, and those are old silhouette settings, not new, so I haven't played with the new software. They reorganized what the numbers mean, but uh, this is old school, original settings. I've had a couple custom gaskets cut at this shop where I bought the material before and uh, essentially all they have is a big uh, XY gantry with a, uh, a drag knife which is effectively what a, a silhouette cutter is, is a, is a drag knife. It, their knife is just bigger, they can cut cardboard boxes and all kinds of stuff depending on the knife they put in. Uh, so they do it the exact same way. They just don't use anything as off the shelf as the silhouette. So here we go. 
four new gaskets in, I don't know, what was that, three, four minutes? Anyways, I'll uh, show you what this, how this works out. So I'll try and do this one-handed just so you can see how this works out. But uh, I'm just going to uh, peel off the main gasket sheet here. And again, this would be simpler if it was uh, two-handed. And uh, we'll start with the first one. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And uh, one out of the two holes came out. And uh, really all you got to do is um, poke it with a, a knife. And they pop right out. And uh, give you an idea of the scale. That's uh, that's a 2.5 millimeter. You just sort of stick the knife into it and pull, and boom, Bob's your uncle, and you got yourself a uh, perfect gasket. Anyways, that's it. Thanks. And here we go. Wrap things up. Uh, Took me uh, from the time I finished the actual CNC job to uh, throw together the drawing, put it into studio. Uh, it was maybe about 10 minutes work and the uh, hardest part was finding the AC adapter for the dumb cutter, which I lost. But um, once I found that, uh, it was, uh, I don't know, less than five minutes for the first gasket and uh, from uh, loading the thing in for these extra four another five minutes for four more anyways hope you like it bye uh, before we move on uh, i thought i'd just show you uh, my previous jobs um, i had an engine where uh, parts were rare and getting gaskets uh, were for the head and were uh, almost impossible uh, without a six month shipping uh, anyways these are uh, gaskets that uh, basically I uh, uh, copied uh, when the engine was serviced. Uh, the gaskets uh, were good enough that I could copy them, but uh, they were torn. Uh, knock these up. The ones I have in service have been running for three years, a couple hundred flights. And these are standard uh, MTW DLE 111, DA 100, EME 120, uh, you name it, the sort of universal 55, one, uh, C 55, DLE 55, 111 MTW header gaskets. Uh, so get a perfect seal on them. Anyways, hope you like it.